Hello everyone, I am Shoradi Poddar and I am a student of IV Professional School. Today I will demonstrate my video game sales project done with dashboards in MS Excel. This project contains a video game sales data having a list of video games and its sales all around the world from 1980 onwards. Using this data set, we would create the dashboards for various objectives and derive business insights for the stakeholder. Let us now take a glimpse of the data set. The first column is the ID column followed by the name of the games, the platform or console of their release, the year of the release of the games, the genre of the games, the publisher of the games, the North America sales, the Europe sales, the Japan sales and the sales from the rest of the world. And the global sales are the sum of the sales from the North America sales, the Europe sales, the Japan sales and sales from the rest of the world. Coming to the objectives, from the point of view of the game maker or publisher, we would like to find out the region-wide sales, the top 5 genres, platforms and publishers having the highest sales and we can do that for a given region as well. Also, we would like to find out the trend of the number of games released and the top platforms and the top publishers releasing the highest number of games. Let us now look at the sales dashboard which has been created from pivot tables using a sales summary table derived from the original dataset. The pie chart here gives the percentage contribution to global sales from each region for all genres, platforms and publishers. We see that North America has the highest sales followed by Europe, Japan and the rest of the world. In genres, Action, sports, shooter, role playing and platform are the top 5 in terms of sales. Action and sports are the top 2 genres everywhere whereas in Japan role playing plays a very big role in sales as can be seen. Among the top 5 platforms overall are PS2, X360, PS3, WII and DS. In Japan though PS and SNES are in the top 5 in sales. Among the top 5 publishers overall in sales are Nintendo, Electronic Arts, Activision, Sony Computer Entertainment and Ubisoft. So the insights which we can draw from the sales summary dashboard are the game maker or publisher can target North American or European markets for higher sales. Also, releasing games in the top 5 genres in sales can also lead to higher sales. Coming to the platforms, the top 5 platforms in sales indicate that most video gamers possess these platforms and hence the sales are high. Thus, games must be released on consoles or platforms which are more compatible to gamers. The top 5 publishers denote that to make a mark in the gaming industry, they are the publishers to compete with. Coming to the counts summary dashboard, we see that the number of games released started peaking from early 2000 and there has been a little decline from 2010 onwards. If we look at the sports genre, for example, the number of games have started decreasing post 2010. On the contrary, if we look at the action genre, number of games have started increasing after 2010 onwards. Action genre has the highest number of games released in all years, followed by sports, MISC, and adventure, and so on. In platforms, DS, PS2, PS3, WII, X360 are among the top 7 platforms in terms of games released. In publishers, Namco Bandai Games, Nintendo, Sony Computer Entertainment, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, Konami Digital Entertainment and Sega are in the top 7 publishers on the basis of games released. So, what are the insights to, that we get from the Counts dashboard? 
Firstly, one has to be very sure about the genre of games liked by people today and then publish a game as one would like to have good sales after the game is released. High sales in the action and sports genres correlates positively to the number of games released, but it is not always the case. MISC has the third largest number of games released, but its overall sales were not in the top 5. It can be seen that the adventure genre games have been on the rise in terms of release in the last decade. It may be that users are starting to like these games and hence publishers are making more of them. Platforms for the highest release of games also had highest sales. So these are the common platforms for release of games and a publisher must keep that in mind. For few of the top 7 publishers, the sales are the highest, indicating that the gamers like their games, hence these publishers publish more. On the other hand, for example, Namco Bandai Games has maximum number of games released, but their sales are not in the top 5. Maybe they publish region-based games or the games are not up to the mark, according to users. Thus, the video games industry is a very competitive industry and the game maker or publisher has to study it very well before releasing games and in order to have higher sales. Thank you.